Well, welcome everybody, Smithy here, and welcome to another Minecraft Dinosaurs episode. Uh, mm, yeah, well, we're back in our Jurassic World 2015, uh, but we're in 1.12.2, guys. Yes, the, but for all those people that ask, 1.12.2 uh, does work. Uh, the map that you can download, uh, what will happen is you first, when you first... Uh, load in Java it will crash and then you load it a second time and it will load so this is Minecraft uh, Jurassic World 2015 and what I want to just show you I, I've started at night today because the shaders I'm using the light is just fantastic isn't it absolutely fun fan dabby dozy we'll just come back in here the light as the moon comes over the water and I've listed the shaders in the description I'm using Chocopit Chocopic uh, no shadow shaders, but they just look gorgeous. So that's why I started it at night with our build. And why are we over here? Because we're going to do a new Mind Jurassic showcase. Uh, but I just want to start over here. Yeah, so this is in 32 chunks in... Uh, oh, sorry. I've got ambient sounds on. So as you get higher, you can hear the wind go. So ambient sounds is on here as well. So we, we've got all the 1.12 to 2.2. Oh my God, look at that. Here is Mind Jurassic 1.12 uh, Harbor Mania mod. It's been a, it's been it's been out a few days, uh, but it's here, guys, and it's absolutely a fan dabby dozy. And I've been playing around with it. Ooh, I didn't know it lit up. Oh, that's interesting. Why is that one lit up? Did I put a light? Did I put a light one in there? Ooh. So that's probably because the shaders. Uh, but these all work with shaders. I want to show that. So let's just. Let's just get back to daylight and let's start showing you this wonderful mod. Yeah, so uh, this is, I say, Mind Jurassic. Uh, it's called Harbour Mania mod. We're, this is the first of three Mind Jurassic uh, showcase videos. We've got Mind Jurassic vehicles to come, and we've got the Mind Jurassic updates to some dinos, and we've got some new uh, hybrids as well. So check those out. They're coming over the next following days. This is the first, first one. There's some weird noises going on here. So we, I've put all the stuff out. I've been playing around with it. And you can see the big, big thing here are containers, uh, vehicles, trailers, and items that you would find at a harbour, including forklift trucks and whatever. Uh, it's really, really, really cool. Really cool. I've been playing around with it. So uh, well, without further ado, we're going to show you what we got. So when you load it up into Minecraft 1.12.2, uh, I'm not showing you this. There's uh, Mind Jurassic Vehicles for next video. Uh, we have Harbour Mania here. Tabs, two tabs. Harbour Mania and Harbour Mania Bands are called, which are numbers which you can put onto onto things, which is really, really cool. But first of all, let's just show you the uh, items we've got so far. We've got these small crates. Uh, they, the, the, Well, I caught the containers. And the and what I'd love is some crates. So we'll show you some crates. I would like an in-gen crate. I think that would be the best, but we'll show you that anyway. I think we've got in-gen crates from the other mod. Ah, we'll have to look at that. Uh, so we've got these containers here, and they're the traditional containers that you see in the container yard. These are the small ones. These are the red container kit, and I'll show you what I mean and how that works. And we've got kit pieces as well, so I'll show you all that. Uh, we've got loads of logos, NASA, medical, uh, DHL, uh, we've got Mercedes. But what you'll find is uh, there are logos within the Mind Jurassic as well. So you can play around with those. But I'm just telling you what's in this mod. We've got uh, Maresk, famous, one of the largest shipping container 
companies in the world and evergreen as well uh and then we've got some little if i say a pallet truck we've got a forklift and then we've got these crates guys these crates full of stuff i just love them so items to come and then we've got paint pots and a work base stand now the stand over there uh, and the paint pots uh they all and in fact what we need to do is just bring that back yeah the paint pots here are for uh, survival mode and that's for survival mode so you can get the items so without further ado right how do you place items we'll start we'll come back actually and get rid of these numbers we'll get rid of those numbers so we can start with a small crate uh, they're interchangeable and you need to have blocks to make them bigger or smaller i'll show you something you can play around with them how do you stack them like i've stacked them so we'll start with the traditional blue container so this is the small one here uh, so you can place these absolutely anywhere guys don't want to smash me flowers so you can just place these down uh, now word of warning uh, if you place them down directly on the block this is what happens they sink in the ground so you need to get you need to have a block to put them on so and so you can you can either do this which is you can either uh, put them on top of a block like this uh, so we do that douche and that gives you the height of container uh, we can get rid of it once you hit it in fact you need to there you go block it or you can do this so you can put it on the side now i, I prefer that mode uh, but you can do silly things like this as well uh, which is like create a weird a weird a weird thing uh, and you can stand on it as well because there's blocks inside so let me just get rid of all those uh, so there's the secret and you've got to work out where you want to put this so if we want to go, we don't want to stick it out of the building. I think we have to sort of go back to there, maybe. Get rid of that and then put the, that literally lines up. So then you can either use this. Uh, if you put another block here, you can use this to make like a, like a medium sized container like that. And I'll show you more there. Uh, or what you can do is we'll come back. Uh, we'll take rid of that. Let's get rid of that. You can use this type of container which is the full container uh, and then you can use the kits so this kit makes this is really i like this so the kit sort of makes the container bigger uh, and then you can put a block on and you can either use the small container so you can also mess about with this so you look you can put a little container just there uh get rid of that or you can put the container back there so you can have these massive containers uh, what I haven't done yet is tried to put them. Oh yeah, put them on this wagon. So what you to do? Put them on the wagons because you can't just place these on the wagons. You have to uh, like uh, put a block. Uh, so that's the wrong place. You've got to be very careful, guys. Uh, I think that is roughly about right. Uh, let's try that. Yes, there you go. So to get them on the wagon, uh, and I say if we had blue. There's, there's some weird creature running around behind me that's that that's that thing so let's just get rid of that guys you can then use the other blocks uh, and i think that's going to be about right is it and then put the container back on there see so there we go so that's what we can do with that i love that look at that uh, and you've just i've just shown you one of the wagons you can have small containers big containers it's just once you get the knack of it how to use it uh, then 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 uh, you know you can have empty trailers all right so let's come back to containers so you can see here then uh, we've put some uh, we've put some stuff on them we'll get rid of that there because we don't need that anymore we're just showing you how they work so like the logos the logos stick on the blocks but so you can just you have to do one second second click so if you walk inside what happens is it puts the, the logo here uh, so there's a NASA one. I was talking about the other logo. So if I just type in logo, I think we will get a logo. Will we get logo? So here's the InGen logo, guys. So this is from my, my Mind Jurassic, remember? So you have to have Mind Jurassic as well, which I've got installed. Look at that! We got InGen! Yes, absolutely brilliant. Uh, and you can have, like you say, logo. So I haven't done them. You can have the range of, oh look ACU so we put the ACU on so we put the ACU did they have blue ones you can put the ACU one on here absolutely magnificent and you can put them on the side as well there you go so you can have ACU kit uh, or in gen or any of the other logos from mind Jurassic I love the fact that what I think what they should do is 
the, because you that the idea is you have all three mods installed then you can get everything you can't have like you couldn't have the in-gen item in mind jurassic and also in this mod because of the numbers but i'd like to see some more of these it's just just the best i just love it and that's on the white one of course over here so we can do it any side and you can make it like multiple as well uh once you work out where yeah that's that's because you think there's a creature around right so so there's the sign there so now let's get back to the other stuff in this mod because it's just there's just so much good stuff so uh we have got the forklift trucks which you can do well actually we'll start with the pallet trucks what would be really cool is if uh oh i want no uh, what would be really cool if you could sort of grab them and stuff but uh, they look really good uh but i wonder if you could actually that's a good point actually let's just try something here while i'm here uh we put that there i think you may be able to put uh maybe able to put something on it you can put that on it but you can't <laughs> you couldn't put it there because it's got a block uh, in fact what you could do if you're really clever is put a small uh i wonder if it, if it might be too big let's just try this guys just try this guys one don't try it at home uh a small <laughs> it's too big let me just try that no look at that yeah we cut we can that's really cool now if i'm clever here and smash that you can get rid of that by the way yeah sometimes if you put blocks inside they go all shiny so you can't actually do that and you could probably just about do that with a forklift truck but i just love the designs i mean uh, what would be really good is you, you could actually drive the things i mean they would be absolutely fan dabby dozy uh, as such i know they're just placement items at the moment but they are really cool Put the forklift trucks down uh yeah oh there we go let's just do that oh yeah sorry i haven't got the box let's just do that probably could put it there but that's you could you can actually place it as long as you put the block down first there do we think do we think well, he's, well, yeah let's uh, do that and then put the block on there yeah Wow, is that? And then just go in and get rid of that block. You can't do the center block, maybe that's the. There we go. So you can actually make it. Make You can see I've been playing around with this for ages. So anyway, crates, guys. Oh, wow. We've been wanting this sort of stuff for ages in Minecraft. I just can't believe we haven't got all these ancillary stuff. So, so you've got the empty crate over here. Just an empty harbor crate. It gets placed down. To place one on top, you've got to crouch and place it on top. So you can do that. I mess about with it like that see uh, and then we got apples love it apples we, it'd be nice i think to have and these are fish it'd be nice to have like potatoes and all the different versions uh, and then these are meats i know you wouldn't have meats like that but they're meats and this is from the mine jurassic mod these are the in-gen crates i was talking about uh you can just place those round again like that so I really like those. We've been wanting those for ages. Uh, and then these paint pots. Uh, paint pots. So we'll just get rid of those. Oh, I want to get bin those uh, now. So we can decorate all sorts. So paint pots uh, from this mod. Uh, we have got the tool, the, the tool chest and the paint pot. So we'll go over there actually and show this. Uh, the paint pot, I believe, is for painting the uh, in survival, painting these. Uh, and this is the uh, the workbench, so we can have empty crate, meat crate, fish crate, apple crate. So if I do this, it gives me three apple crates. So it's like a workbench, and you can see three go into there. I can do empty crates as well. So that's really, 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 really cool. I really like that. Uh, so that does that. Uh, the paint pot. I, I in fact, let me just put this down. Uh, oh yes, yeah, so you can have ooh. oh right what's a cr oh these are the, these are the uh are the that's for decoration in terms of painting these now i'll show you this let me just go back there's all these numbers and these now i've only had a quick play around with these guys uh and where did i put the numbers probably on a blue one I probably stopped i probably took got rid of them now yeah we did get rid of them I've, you can't put them on trucks at the moment where did i put the numbers ah there we go so i put the numbers on top of the uh of these now look 
the raise the how yeah let me show you because i was stacking these you have to play around with the round these see like that and as, as i went back let's go back to the red one there that's the other type uh, you just play around with the blocks because they are decorative blocks that's what it's designed for it's a, a lot of fun i love this lit up one though i like that can we have some more lighting ones please i love the fact that the crate is create is lit up the nasa one it's like spooky in it let's just go to uh time set there again you can play around with this all lots of fun right so next up we have the trucks because we got all this i oh, get rid of that get rid of that get rid of that and get rid of that oh wonderful so we have the all american truck uh, and we have the European truck. I would like to see some more colours. Uh, I think that would be really cool to see some more colours. I'd like to see uh, one of the, the, the this American trucks like the Jurassic World, Jurassic World uh, Fallen Kingdom ones. And then we have small trailer, large trailer. We have trailer deployed and trailer undeployed no, no, i'm going to show you all these so the issue about this is all you have to do is place them down somewhere so let's just go to this over here let's just put this american trailer over here now you have to work out which way to go so if i do it this way it's that way so i don't want that and you need to go and click to delete it you need to find the name of it so let's just bring it back to here there we go so there's the truck it is a really nice truck. I'm really impressed. I love the way the seats are designed. It's some fantastic. Leo saw you have done a fantastic job and you've done all the arches and everything. Uh, the point is it's decorative blocks. So, uh, and I'll bring in the European truck. It's like truck simulator. I'll be doing some truck simulator soon, guys. I'll be doing some Microsoft flight simulator when it comes out on the 18th. I'll be doing truck simulator, doing all sorts of things. This is just my thing. You don't see many videos on me doing my driving and stuff, but they are coming. So uh, next up, we got small trailers. Now you have to work out how to place these. So if I place this here, it's too far back. Okay, so you need to find the name of it again to delete it. I need to find the name of it. Uh, come on, where is it? I want to delete it. I need to find the name of it now. Oh, there you go, small harbour truck. So you've got to, I think it's the centre one here. Yeah, there you go. There you go so that's to make it look like it's on the truck okay uh, you can delete it if you find the name uh, trailer delete it and then we're going to put the big one on so let's just do that again we'll put it in the center no that's not in the right place so let's just do that again move it one more this way there you go so the trailer's now there and this is a super duper 18 wheeler i call it uh, but it isn't 18 wheeler because this for some reason these haven't got the double wheelbase on here i think that would be a good thing to have to have some double wheelbase, you know, because make the wheel arches wider and have double sets of wheels. I think that's a suggestion from my point of view. Uh, and yeah, so you can put the trailers on uh, and they sort of sit exactly right, just a bit. Oh, that's sort of off a bit, but the matter. Uh, and then you've got these. So you've got deploy means it has a tractor on it. So let me just see if I can get this right. No, that's not it. Let's just go to. Uh, uh, that's too far i think that's way too far say let's go to here that's oh no i've moved it in the wrong place because i went and got that center there we go now what deploy means is and if you played uh spin tires that's another game i play you drive these up here but uh, you walk through at the moment so it's got that it's got that little look i think it's really really cool i really like it uh, it'd be really cool let's see now can we place a truck we could actually place a truck on this if you use a block like i did before uh you can play around with this this is how you put stuff on it so let's just put a block here and there and i think now oh no that that's about i think yeah well, yeah well it's in the wrong place right okay let's just move that let's just move that block and move it back to to there i think we'll, we'll put it there and then put this truck on there so like you can put trucks on trucks and stuff uh that's pretty cool yeah I, I don't think it's big enough to put the small trailer on should we try it should we try it ah it's too low <laughs> no it isn't big enough it isn't big enough right okay oh i got rid of the wrong thing there let me just see Got rid of the trailer so you can put trucks on there i think if i'm right i'll be able to put the uh, forklift truck on there as well if i'm clever put the forklift truck on the back so it's just about getting used to the mod 
Hey! <laughs> Look at that. So, it's as I say, it decorate. Now, the other trailer that we haven't shown you is the uh, non-deployed, which is this one again. So, same thing with the American truck. Uh, you, I put the truck on, and it's got the uh, it's got the bit at the back. So, if we just put that there and put the forklift truck on there, there we go. So you can see now this from a port that had nothing going on it. It's now super duper. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot to mention this. Uh, we didn't even show you the the other signs. I, I mean that Mercedes. I don't think it's supposed to have a crate in there. Maybe uh, it's 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 really good. But uh, there we go. So you can see now. Remember this, this port. The only thing <laughs> the only thing is like this is the Raptor cage, which which when I built it, obviously I built it. It's a bit big now. <laughs> I need a smaller raptor cage, but that raptor cage is designed from my other world. So there we go. Uh, this boat was not mine made. What I want now, what I'd love to have now is a transporter boat. So that what would happen is for other parts of the island, you could roll on a truck. You could roll on some forklifts and then you could deliver the deliver the stuff from this main harbour out to the other harbours. Also, the fact is I need to go and have a look at Jurassic Park map to see now if I can put all those crates into the East Dock because uh, that would look fantastic. So so I've sort of moved to 1.12 for my, uh, for my 2015 map as such. Uh, we will be doing uh, the vehicles next. I will leave all these on for the next showcase and we're going to do the uh, Mind Jurassic vehicles. And there's lots of them. There they are. Look at all those vehicles. See them next time, guys, in the next uh, video. They'll be coming up in the next 24 hours. But there's loads of Mind Jurassic vehicles and, and it's just awesome uh, what the, what Teleosaur is doing with this, this mod set. Uh, and it means like you could have, you know, like in the Jurassic World, you can download my Jurassic World on my Minecraft. Uh, uh, links are in the description, guys, on Planet Minecraft. Uh, but what it means is you could like this area here, which has got uh, the back of the uh, T-Rex kingdom. Uh, we could we can put down like, uh, let's see if we can, which way does it go? It will go this way. So I need to be careful here. So if I put that there, there we go. So we can put that there and uh, what we can do is come back to this because you've seen too much of that already guys for next time. Uh, we could just put in uh, a crate. In fact what I will do is just whack that in. Uh, I need a, need a block, need a block guys. Uh, let's, I'll do it this way because it's easier to get rid of it afterwards. Yeah, uh, that's a bit close. So let's just make that one more that way. No, that was not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. There we go. Uh, and then put that in there. And I think we... There we go. There we go. So that crate with the forklift there. So it means now we can decorate our Jurassic World, Jurassic Parks with all the kits. So uh, I think we now can say that... Uh, uh, the this map is going to get updated from this point onwards by 1.12.2 guys uh, because of all the extra things that we can place in and also 1.12.2 is more, way more stable uh, it works way better and most people are on 1.12.2 so uh, I will now start this map I think it's just fantastic uh, I mean I'm not going to do any more we're doing sauna at the moment Isla sauna uh, again we shall see what we do with that because I do like the old Jurassic Craft 1.8. Uh, so there we go. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that showcase. Uh, we'll be back for another Mind Jurassic showcase with the vehicles next. And uh, yeah, there we go. See you next time. Slap that like button, guys. Now go on, go and slap it for me. That for for all I say is make comments. I usually reply to most of them, not straight away, but I do. Uh, also, uh, make 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 uh, slap that button for me. That's the best thing you can do. Spread the news, uh, and uh, there we go. You can download this map, as I say, from a Planet Minecraft site, and uh, yeah, you can use it in any Minecraft version. Cheers for now, and bye bye.